All right, so back once again, and today, as opposed to every other day where I start the video by saying we're going to be doing something different or something we haven't done before, well, today isn't going to be one of those days. Today, in fact, we are going to be doing something that I kind of feel like I've covered over the course of several of my previous videos, but never really amalgamated them into a single video. And this is the absolute worst feeling that you get when you play World of Warships. Again, just like I've stated, just now, I think some of these could be included in some of my previous videos, but why not relive the pain and tear open old wounds and rub some salt in, into them? What could be more fun than that, right? Anyways, let's get into it, and as always, subscribe to my channel. Oh, and I also stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday and Friday, so come watch me live, talk shit, do bad plays, and generally just have a good time. It really helps uh, something, I think. Anyways, let's get into it. The semi-losing streak. So the first thing that we're going to touch on is the losing streak. Now I know for a fact that I've covered this in a video previously, and I'm sure we're all familiar with the losing streak where you lose 15 games in a row, sit silently for 15 seconds, just staring at your computer monitor in an uncontrollable rage while the end game screen pops up. And you swiftly lift your computer monitor, throwing it out the window with as much force as the Shikishima's guns need to propel a shell of 25 kilometers ahead of itself. No, I'm not talking about these types of losing streaks. Those types of losing streaks are fairly rare and don't happen all that frequently. Unless you play like I do sometimes. And I've already covered them, so let's not recover the same ground twice. The losing streaks I'm going to be talking about are the ones where you play a certain game mode. Let's take rank for example, but this applies to pretty much any game mode. And let's say you go into ranked with the best of intentions, and you win your first game, and you think all is well, you're going to rank out in no time at all. And then it starts to happen. A series known as win lose, win lose, win lose, win lose, or win two, lose two, win two, lose two, win two, lose two, or even the most dreaded win three, lose three, win three, lose three. And what ends up happening is that you basically spend up to two hours or as many hours as you need for basically zero absolute gain. Well, zero gain might be a bit harsh. A present that you do get from going through this is a rage that means that instead of needing to fling your computer monitor 25 kilometers like you did with the first type of rage inducing losing streak, you'll only need to fling it 12 and a half kilometers this time to quell your rage. So let's keep going and well, if you've already flung your computer monitor out your window, enjoy listening to the rest of this video. The out of control game. The out of control game is something that, unlike the last type of feeling I mentioned, the losing streak or the semi losing streak, the out of control game is something that seems to be happening more and more often the longer the gaming happens to exist. But I suppose the best way I could describe these types of games is a sense of hopelessness. In random, it's a form of resignation that no matter what you do, you slump down on your chair with the realization that no matter how much damage you do, no matter how well you position, all your team are going to be dead within 5 minutes of the game actually starting. And that is truly one of the worst feelings in World of Warships. And then there's ranked games, with the difference being in ranked games that alongside the fact that you have to sit through about 20 minutes of pain while your team feeds themselves into the abyss one by one, there's also the struggle to get the most XP on your team and an urn that Leander that yellowed that Musashi and somehow managed to get a few torpedoes off before getting one shot. And then you get to the end game screen and realize that you missed out on saving that star by one XP and decide, you know what, I don't need to play anymore today. But with that being said, in one of these games, whether they be a random battle or even a ranked battle at rank two, four stars, one thing is for sure. There'll always be another game after it, and it might not happen again, right? Yeah, sure. If someone had told me that after some of the games I've had, I probably would have punched them. Anyways, let's keep going. Being 1 XP from a new ship, this one is going to be fairly short. From being 1 XP away from saving a star to being 1 XP away from researching that new ship. I'm not entirely sure this feeling is completely on the same level as the others that I've talked about, but I'm going to include it anyways. Because, well, it's really difficult to think about much else after those first few feelings. But anyways, being 1 XP from a new ship is annoying at best. And at worst? Well, it really depends. 
And you may be thinking, how often does this really happen? I mean, come on, it can't really be all that annoying. Well, I've been sitting at around 227,000 coal for the last few days and every single container that I've gotten is that single coal container and all I want to do is buy the Georgia and use those incredible secondaries to YOLO people and make both my teammates and the enemy team cry. Well, you could just use the GK, they have good secondaries. Wrong. If I wanted to be set on fire from every single angle known to man, I would just walk on hot coals for the rest of my life. Anyways. That's enough of that rant for a little bit, <clears throat> apologies, and perhaps that helps with the annoyance that I get from being so close but yet so far from getting a new ship or slash researching a new ship. But as I said, this is only ever going to be a short and sweet annoyance, so let's get into the next one. Overpen City. The next one is going to be that overpen feeling. So let me set a little bit of a scene for you. You're cruising through the map when you're newly purchased Shikishima or even that newly grinded Yamato and you think, nice, time to lay down some absolute carnage on the enemy team. Finally, you're top tier, no need to worry about being out tiered or even outgunned. Suddenly and unexpectedly, a lovely little Smolensk pops up in your one-shotting range, giving so much flat broadside that you think it's just an extension of the horizon. But then you snap out of that dream that you've been having and realize that no, in fact it is a full broadside spawn sailing perfectly flat broadside to you. So you do what any other self-respecting top tier battleship would do. You grab your mouse, turn your guns and line them up straight at the waterline of the broadside. Keeping in mind that you should give the smooth an appropriate lead in order to not overshoot or undershoot. You line it up perfectly. You could bet your grandmother's life on the fact that these shells are going to hit up. So you press fire. The shells fly through the air, ready to death strike that Smolensk with the fury of a thousand suns, and then they pop right through the Smolensk, in one end, out the other, giving you six war pens and seven thousand damage. And in return, you get set on fire fifteen times and die a slow, painful death. HE spam sends its regards. Congratulations and welcome to World of Warships. Let's move on before I lose my mind. <laughs> And at long last we get to the final feeling that comes with playing World of Warships that I think everyone can agree is horrible. And if you've made it this far, congratulations, I know it wasn't easy. But if you've been observant, you'll notice that there's one thing that I haven't mentioned so far in all my bad feelings about World of Warships, and that is carriers. Good old fashioned carriers. Where would we be without carriers? <clears throat> well, probably in a better place to be honest, but anyways, I digress, let's get into it. I remember the first time this happened, it was maybe one, maybe two years ago, and I was playing my now favourite German battleship, the Bayer. I spawned on one of the wide flanks all by myself and thought, oh god, it's coming for me, I better get out of here. And I quickly start moving towards the rest of my team at the centre of the map. But before I could get there, planes started coming into view one by one, and well, what happened in the following 2-3 to three minutes was the reason I stopped playing the game for the next 2-3 to three months. But that's not to say that carriers are completely bad. I'm sure there's some redeeming qualities about carriers, but I don't play them, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> So that pretty much sums up all the worst feelings that I can think of in World of Warships. If you think there's something I missed, leave a comment down below. But until next time, subscribe to my channel and follow my Twitch. Goodbye.